your body can store fat in the form of triglycerides. Your body can store carbohydrates in the form of glycogen. My name is uh, Christopher Wu. I'm a 41-year-old medical doctor, but I'm one of those doctors which has converted from the medical field into the lifestyle transformation and fitness field. Research shows that you need a range of between 0.75 grams to 1 gram per pound of body weight. So let's say for example, if you're taking a 70 kg meal, 70 kilogram meal, so you multiply that number by 2.2 and you need about 116 roughly to 154 grams per pound of body weight a day. But the thing is that these values can also change. It depends on your calories and your macronutrients. Let's say for example, if you're a high carb dieter, you obviously need less protein because carbohydrates are protein sparing. And also protein requirements increase. The leaner you get, the lower your body fat, the deeper you get into dieting. So what I would advise you is don't take all that protein in one meal. So let's say if you do intermittent fasting, you can do it for two meals. But if you're a regular person, do it for around four to five meals. Why would I say this is because your body can store fat in the form of triglycerides. Your body can store carbohydrates in the form of glycogen. It can't store protein. So breaking it down into several meals a day would make sense because it gives you constant protein synthesis throughout the day. And that keeps you in a positive nitrogen balance, which is conducive to building muscle.